Hi, I'm Chef Ann Bo of Healthy Happy Chef Yacht Edition Part 2. I'm making a nice healthy lunch, high protein tuna fish salad. Simple, easy, refreshing, nice to have during the summer because it stays nice and cold. I like to add fresh vegetables to it, starting with celery. I'm going to cut these into little cubes so I can mix it in nicely with my salad. I'm also going to add some apple, some onion, and I have a special ingredient. I'm doing a little experiment. I'm going to add some dragon fruit powder. That way I can turn my tuna fish pink. Get little nice cubes. That way we can toss it without having big chunks. Unless you like a chunky salad. So I like to add a little bit of sweetness to my salad. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cube up the apple about the same size as I cut the celery. So that ends up as a little cube. tends to be a little slippery because I just washed them. So just be careful and make sure your knife is nice and sharp. So I put about four cans of tuna in there because I want to make a big salad. This keeps well in the refrigerator so you can make it once and eat it for a couple of days. It makes a nice healthy lunch or post workout meal. It's lean, high in protein. Um, I'm, I have another secret ingredient which is this avocado mayonnaise. It's vegan, it's vegan mayonnaise, and it's made out of avocado oil. So I'm gonna add some of that. Looks like a lot, but you need it to keep all the ingredients together. And plus it's made out of avocado, so and I'm gonna use about half of this onion. Sometimes I feel like I just want a little bit of raw onion because it's so pungent, the, um, the flavor when it's raw. I'm the type that cries. I don't want to cry on camera, but it might happen. little cubes. I'm going to make my onion cubes a little bit smaller because I don't want a big chunk of onion in my mouth. It makes me cry. So your onion cube, or my onion cube rather, is about this size. Make yours bigger or smaller depending on how you like it. That's just how I like my flavors. So excited to add the dragon fruit because 
it's going to turn it hot pink. So first I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to salt it a little bit. What's up? <laughs> Sorry, too much salt. <laughs> Those are big pieces. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> They're massive. This is the coarse salt. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, this tuna is kind of bland because you get it like pure. It's mm -hmm. like unsalted, so it should be fine. Now we're gonna add the dragon fruit powder. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna add two spoons to start and see what happens. Oh my gosh. It's turning the tuna fish pink or fuchsia really, just like I anticipated. Oh, the more I mix it, it's like a light pink. Wow. This is so pretty. This tuna salad just got turned up. Normally I don't like the color of tuna salad. It always looks kind of gray. This makes for a great pop of color and dragon fruit has a lot of health benefits. And now I'm so, you know what? I'm gonna add one more scoop so it's like a little bit more pink. Whoa. Ooh, that's a lot. Whoa. Should I? Yeah, let me put this trunk back. <laughs> <laughs> Overboard. Kind of comes in chunky, maybe should it? Yeah, well. We'll break up the um, the chunks. Don't worry about that. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful tuna salad. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Hopefully I didn't over salt it. It's so good. Hope you guys turn your tuna fish salad into fun, pretty colors. I just tried it out and it's amazing. Stay healthy and happy guys.